It's believed that there are several natural causes of climate change, including changes to the Earth's orbit, volcanic activity and fluctuations in the amount of heat coming from the Sun. But are these enough to explain the recent changes to our climate? Several natural causes of climate change have been identified by scientists. A Serbian astronomer and geophysicist called Militan Milankovic identified three cycles that he thought affected the Earth's orbit, and therefore the climate. These are called the Milankovic cycles. The first cycle looks at eccentricity, the path of the Earth as it orbits around the Sun. The path changes over 100,000 years from more circular to more elliptical and back again. This means that the Earth is closer to the Sun when it's in an elliptical orbit than when it's in a circular orbit. This would also seem to coincide with the glacial and interglacial periods during the Quaternary period. The second cycle looks at axial tilt, currently at 23.5 degrees, illustrated by the Tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. But this angle will fluctuate between 21.5 and 24.5 degrees over 41,000 years or so. This can alter the climate at different regions of the planet. Finally, there's precession, which is like a wobble. This wobble will go through a cycle every 26,000 years or so and can lead to longer nights or days in higher latitudes. Solar activity can also affect climate, particularly the development of sunspots. These appear as dark patches approximately every 11 years, raising our temperatures. This is called the sunspot cycle. The more sunspots on the sun, the more heat is given off by the sun and vice versa. Finally, there are volcanic eruptions that can alter the temperature on Earth. Volcanic gas and ash can block out the sun and reduce global temperatures, while sulfuric acid emanating from sulphur dioxide respond like microscopic mirrors, redirecting solar radiation, thus cooling the planet. This can be known as a volcanic winter. We need to appreciate that there are indeed natural causes for shifts in our climate, but are these enough to explain the dramatic changes we've been seeing across the planet for a number of years?